Hello friends, this is DMC Aim, and this is my quick review of Tailors of Harrogate Hot Lava Java Coffee Bags. And it's been a very long time since I reviewed the Hot Lava Java Coffee, and I was actually debating whether to buy a bag and sort of do a revisit of it. But I've seen these on the shelves, and I haven't actually reviewed the Tailors of Harrogate Coffee Bags before, so I thought I'd give these a try rather than going back and trying the, the the ground coffee or the beans again. So let's take a look at the box. It says proper coffee made easy. Row six, and you get 10 bags in there, 75 grams. So that's gonna be what, 7.5 grams per bag. Works just like a tea bag, but for ground coffee, all the flavor without the mess and contact information for Tailors of Harrogate there. On the back, how to brew the coffee. Our clever individually wrapped bags let the rich, fierce flavors of our super strong extra dark blend brew perfectly in the cup. Best before date is the 1st of 2022, so just under a year on the best before date on this one. Uh, this is an UT certified coffee and carbon neutral and by appointment of HRH, the Prince of Wales. And that is it for the pack. I was looking for a bit of a description of uh, Hot Lava Java but there isn't one on the box. So there we go, storage instructions, ingredients, 100% coffee. Uh, so that's the box. Let's take a quick look inside. Here we go. It's got the uh, brew for two minutes and give me a really good squeeze. Try the range, rich. So they do the rich Italian, the decaf, and the flying start as well. So, um, get the box open and take a look. That's one of the bags. Here we go. Smaller packaging than usual with these um, coffee bags. So let's take a look at what they look like. Quite difficult to open actually. Here we go. Yeah, it's that sort of meshy material, not like a normal tea bag. It feels a little bit plasticky, but obviously it's not plasticky. And I'm getting that sort of robusta smell instantly from the bag there. So, yeah, what I'll be doing is, as usual, I'll be trying these out over the next couple of days. And I'll come back with my more detailed thoughts. So I've been trying this one out and taste wise it's that obvious robusta taste it's chocolatey, earthy, rich, smoky and there's a slight rubbery, rubberiness there as well. For the strong coffee it's quite smooth with no harshness to the taste there's very little bitterness too. It's not overly rich but that richness does continue into a lingering aftertaste with this one. It's been a long time since I reviewed this coffee in ground form and it's not as harsh as I remember. And the strength rating must come from the beans because it's not as dark a roast or as dark as other coffees with a similar strength rating. And I think the strength rating also reflects the high caffeine contents of this coffee. Um, I'll just have a quick taste, see if I realise anything new about it. There's no sugar in this, so... I've been drinking it with sugar, but actually it's not too bad um, without sugar, this one, surprisingly. So I'll give it a score of 3.25 out of 5. If you want a coffee with 
high caffeine that will make you glow and give um, get you moving in the morning. This is definitely worth a try, this coffee. So I'd really like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or any of the other Taylor's coffees or the other coffee bags um, that they do. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.